Hi, everyone. This is Marilyn Bradford, and I would like to welcome you to my Left Turn podcast. What is your left turn? Writing a blog? Parenting in a different way? Letting go of the old because you are aware of something greater? Left turns are choices we can all make. It's about a willingness to step into the unknown in any area of your life, to trust yourself to risk creating or trying something new. It's about letting your true uniqueness shine. The greatest people who have lived, artists, statesmen, writers, explorers, musicians, have all been people willing to turn left. What capacities do you have that you have not acknowledged? What would your life and the world be like if you were willing to turn left? Welcome everyone to this episode of Left Turn. I am so pleased today to have as my guest, John Ashford. I was asking him about the different things that he did, probation officer, classes, food channel, um, meditation, gardening, fishing, and finally I thought, you know what? John Ashford, Renaissance man, magician. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> Yeah. You have so many talents and abilities and do so many incredibly creative things. So thank you very much for joining me today. My pleasure. So, John, if you were to look over your life, and I am sure you have a lot of left turns to choose from, what have been some of the most important ones in your in your life? Well, it's kind of ironic because as I think about this, the first one, I think, was when I was 12. I grew up in the city of Chicago, Illinois, in the States. I came home and I told my parents that I was going to be a Catholic priest. And I went to this boarding school 600 miles away from Chicago, outside of Kansas City, Missouri. Wow. And as I thought about left turns, that was odd, a 12-year-old coming yes. home from school, telling his parents. And it, most people thought that that choice was my parents. It wasn't at all. That was me being John Ashford. Mm -hmm. And as I say, I hope I can say this, this is me being John motherfucking Ashford. I don't explain why I say <laughs> yes, that. Yes, you can say that. Uh, the reason that I would say that is, as I start to go back and look at my life, I've always been making left turns because in Access, they talk about this thing called follow the energy, follow your knowing. Yes. Un ironically I've been doing that for a long time mm -hmm. and it allowed me to get where I am right now and that's why I was like John motherfucking Ashford I say that because it has a vibrancy it has an energy about it about really claiming and knowing who you are yes it does you know and I shared with you early before we got online, I'm, I'm turning 60 August 11th. And most people are like, oh my God. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just getting started. My rocket has not even left earth yet. My ship hasn't left earth yet. And, that, and I say that because that left turn allowed me at 12 to start to explore the many facets of who I am. I mean, there was sadness being away from home. There was learning things. And and what really took me there is that I like that dude they call Jesus because <laughs> the dude was a renaissance dude and he was willing to say and do and go against the grain. And that was one of my main reasons for going because I was like, I, I like this cat, how he's doing stuff. Yes. Unfortunately, when I got there, I found out it wasn't the same vibrancy that I expected, that I knew of with this other cat that they call Yeshua. Uh. So that turn started to have me explore of, I was okay being alone. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been some th times that's come across my, my reality that I sit back and I'm like, that left turn prepared me to be in this point in my life, not close to my parents who I really love and do. I didn't have any wacky parents or parents that were crazy. I had parents who were really supportive of my life, but this experience that I chose at 12 allowed me to be okay with what's happening in my world with them right now being distant and not losing my mind. It's just like, oh, I hope this makes sense. 
it's almost a practice for what's to come. Oh, yes. And your awareness is expanded in that space. Yes. And for me, um, that was my first major left turn. And even to the point that I remember in 1984, when I decided to leave the seminary. So I was in the seminary from probably 1976. 76, 70, yeah, 1976 to 1983. And uh, I had a, a lot of explorations. Um, and upon leaving, it just, I knew I was different. Yes. And I, I was able to, able to hope. There was always, and it was, here's the unique aspect of me. And making those left turns, I understood how to camouflage or chameleon myself at an early age, which allowed this journey to be just a tab. Because some people would try to fit in. I try. I I could fit in, but I could keep myself. But I could show up how somebody wanted me to show up. If yes, you could manipulate the image according to what was going to create greater. Yeah, yeah. And so, with that. And 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 at the same time, there were some things that were just, and I'm I'm gonna say this on there. There was a huge desire when I was younger, and even today, it's moments to come in that I admired this thing called marijuana. And I'm gonna say what happened with that because what I realized at some point, learning that left turn that was different. I knew that the awareness of, of the environment that I was in, people weren't ready for what I knew. Right. Uh, my experience of having contact with entities and knowing stuff, I thought something was wrong with me. So at times on my downtime, I'm a fairly intelligent dude. You know, I did very well in school <laughs> and that thing, but I had my escape route until... I realized that wasn't going to work anymore of indulging in this because that awareness I had aware I didn't have it. Okay. I used to say there's a conversation in Maryland that I think you might've been in the class with me and Dane. And I told him it was a uh, BYCF being you mm -hmm. uh, certified facilitator meeting. And I said, I don't know. And he just went off like, what do you mean? You don't know you have this energy. Well, I realized that I've been living like that my entire life. And could you say more about that? Okay. So, yes. Um, the example was I was in a class in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and I went swimming with these dolphins on this boat. I had this experience and I came back the next day to the class and I was trying to explain that my hands were doing this. I was really animated. I was like, get this, you know, and I said, I don't know. And Dane said, don't you ever fucking say that to me again. You yes. gave the information with the energy. Yes. And since then, my default answer, you know, like on computer city, default, it's I don't know. So I'm about to teach a class to people about those who walk around don't know what it is. Take a deep breath and understand is that you don't have the words to fit the energy that you've been experiencing. Yes. And most people walk through that and they, so their default answer is, I don't know. Right. I've been realizing that most of my life, I don't know. It's been, John, you don't have the words to explain what you see, know, and be. Mm -hmm. And that left turn of going to the seminary helped me start exploring that at a very early age. You know? Well, that makes sense. I mean, I a lot of people, a lot of us go into some kind of religious journey for a while or into drugs and alcohol for a while or into something. Okay, so let's see what this has to offer. Let's see what this has to offer. And then we go, huh, not quite what I was looking for. <laughs> but, but I think that's that's part of the search, my yeah. sense is. Yeah, yeah. And that, and for me, that was... It, it, I, I wish, you know, you get it when you get it. And like I said, I'm excited because right now where I'm in my life, I'm actually really enjoying that left turn. 
I used to look down on that left turn. I used to be angry at that left turn. You went to the seminary. I got, you know, I miss all of high school and college community, but when it talks about being around at home, I wasn't home. Right. I've never been home. I never really, up until 12, I never been home like for a year. Yeah. Because once I, I would go back and go forth, back and forth to school, and then I went to university. When I left to university, I stayed home. I might have stayed home. I don't even know if I stayed home a year after I graduated from the university. And then I went to work for Club Med. And then I moved to the West Coast. And so the, the there, that that left, but that left turn, I think the universe knew exactly what it was doing. So it would prepare me for the future adventures that I was going to have. And the other mm -hmm. left turns that will show up in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, And I just want to interrupt one minute. Mm -hmm. They do show up and you create them and choose them. It's kind of a symbiotic. I mean, it's just interesting how it works. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I'm beginning to understand that because it's kind of funny. My left turns, I, I used to not say things to people. I still don't. Because I choose to ask a question about are people ready for mm -hmm. okay, this is something else that okay. So my ADHD is kicking in. I'm so sorry. It's like ooh. <laughs> I understand, believe me. Um I used to try to figure out when things showed up the timely manner of me releasing it and being and saying things. And so as you say, I'm ahead of my time. Mm -hmm. And I stopped saying that because that allows me not to be present with what's happening with me. Right. It's just allowing me to know that I have so much info fucking nation coming yes. in at me at one time. There's an overflow. Yes. Uh, learning how to be with that and be that Mm -hmm. and not think that I'm crazy because <laughs> for a while or to think I'm six like I would be like uh, I remember about a couple years ago I told Gary Douglas I can't remember shit <laughs> I was like you know and it's just like but I know a lot you right. know but I can't remember and what happens is that he was he got he told me John don't try to remember just recall it and and sometimes I'll sit back and I get frustrated because I'll say well I, it takes me a while to recall it and then I'll go out of the other room and I'll recall it and it come right back to me but I stopped beating myself up because of this left turn okay Batman analogy Batman has a utility belt and the cool thing when I was a kid on utility belt he had all types of things on the utility belt that he could pull to his desire when was when it was needed so he can pull something out what i'm beginning to realize is that all this information that i'm having is that at the right time i can tap into it and i can pull it out and use it for my disposal yes exactly and manipulate with scenarios yes so that i'm going back to that space where i say i don't know it's part of that space of I'm moving so fast. I'm trying to slow down and I don't need to slow down. I need to actually be with that speed. But then I get caught up trying to make sure that people around me get me. Oh, that, that does slow us down. That is not a great thing. No, no. And th this last year has really helped me understand the importance of keep going. Yes. And, and and the importance of that that first left turn was the left turn. And, I, and, and sometimes people, you know, a blessing in disguise. There was a long time that the first, because that's the first real big left turn that I made that, that uh, attending the seminary in 1976. And I was, I looked down upon it until I realized that everything's a contribution. That yeah. was a huge contribution. And this allowed me to be the different person I am. It's amazing how we get these conclusions and points of view and ideas like this is a good thing that happened to me and this is a bad thing that happened to me and I chose wrong here and I, none of that is relevant. Right. It's all a contribution. Yeah. 
yeah. I, that's when I've been learning too. Yeah. And, and, and it's, 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 it's really significant when you actually, no, I don't like make things significant. Fuck that. Excuse me. Uh, uh, it's just one of the things on the menu that allows you to be you. Yes. It's, it's a huge contribution to us creating our lives. Yeah. And in, when, and when you let go, uh, last night I was, uh, I've been having so many things. Like I said, I told you, I'm in this Food Network, uh, Color Hall's favorite chef. Uh, I'm, try, I'm creating, I'm recreating this concept that's come out of this food foodie event that I've been a part of. And last night I was sitting around a fire that I built in my backyard. I built myself a little campfire in my backyard. And I sat around that fire and I was just like, John, let go and just relax. Mm. And what if you didn't give a fuck about anything anymore? Mm -hmm. Now, what I mean by that, some people are like, what do you mean you don't get it? Yes, I, I, I care for my children, my wife, my friends, the people that I care for the planet. But at the same time, what is the gift of letting go? And I, I want to say this is my second left turn. There's been many more, probably. This is the one I'm going to speak, the second one I'm going to speak about. Last October, I was at another BYCF training. It's kind of funny. Things happen to me at BYCF, huh? Um, and I had a wonderful conversation with my brother Dane here. And I realized he was trying to help me get to the point of understanding being source. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, I was, I was taken back by it. I was like, wait, what is that? And then I realized that I play with a lot of modalities of healing. Like when I came to, I didn't come to access, like I came to access in 19, 19 2018, right? 2016, 2016. And, um, by that time, I was in, I guess I'm in my mid 50s, I'm 60 now. So I was, and I've done a lot of shit. I've been a probation officer 20 plus years. Uh, I practiced EFA, I did a meditation, I did a lot of other modalities. And what I realized from that conversation, I had a conversation with Dane. I broke my ankle at an ABC class right after an advanced body class in Houston. And I had this moment of darkness. And the, I, it was ironic. It's like, I thought I was going to die in this surgery when they do it. I had two surgeries, one in Houston, the one when I came back to Portland. And this thing clicked just when I went into the surgery in Portland, something fucking amazing happened. I heard myself tell me, fucking let go wow and in the moment of that i decided that i wanted to speak to source which i had the realization that source was me and creation mm -hmm. and since then after i came out i was like I saw some crazy things. You know how when your surgery give you those drugs and stuff. So I was like, and it's like, like what? I was like, I told my wife when I come, call Dane, something's going on on the planet. And she was like, and the, the surgeon came to me like, what the fuck is this dude talking about? I was like, ah, you know, I was going <laughs> in my, one of my uh, dimensions. I was like, help, get out, you know. <laughs> but after that, there's been a huge self-exploration of being source being the source and i can't explain i don't i don't know i'm gonna give you guys that what you mean okay. that i, like I don't it. have the words to mm -hmm. explain what i'm attaining all i know that probably 80 percent of the time i'm downloading stuff and I'm actually really, 
I like the one I told you when I came on first. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm at peace with it sometimes. And then yesterday, last night before, I knew I had to come on and do this with you. And I was stayed up to probably like midnight or so. And I stayed with this fire. And I went to this space with this fire. And I know this is going to sound bizarre for people. The fire was popping and it was flaming. And I went into this deep space with that. And it was very relaxing. I fell asleep there for a few minutes. And it wasn't really asleep. It was like if those out there who are going to see this, you have your bars. Imagine getting your bars ran in hyperspace. And that's the best <laughs> way I can describe it. It was just like, I was like, Whoa. and then the because I live in a wooded area. The trees were like alive. I could hear the animal, the night animals are out. And I realized that it doesn't really matter anymore about getting caught up in this reality. No. Because you are the source. Yes. And the space is where I see, and because I, I have this, this, this great capacity, sometimes I used to think it was a curse of being able to pick up people's energy. I mean, I, I'm like, I am like the king of that. I can, but like, and I never thought that before, but now I'm willing to say, oh, that is a huge capacity, a gift. Yes. When you learn how to use it, because if the beginning, when you have it, it drives you batty because you think you're crazy. And according to this reality, you are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because you get more than most people, because you don't follow this reality, because yeah. we're taught that, that the, this reality is the source, the teacher is the source, yeah. of religion, but you know so much more. Yeah, yeah, and that's been the most, and, and, and here's the piece I want to tell people, and this is where I tell people, I'm still working on me, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't think I'll ever get there, I don't expect to ever get there. I think this is a journey. There's yeah. not, it's not a destination. This is a journey. Uh, because I say that because every time something else reve reveals, something else is displayed for me to see something different. Mm -hmm. So um, when I think about like this, when I wake up in the morning and I have these, these scenarios that I'm like, ah, oh, I have to go into the space of letting go. Yes. When things aren't showing up, when I get frustrated, I say I will either go fishing or I say it's time to go fishing mm -hmm. because I'm beginning to learn it's what I be and not what I do that creates the change. Oh, yes, absolutely. And that letting go creates, I have to practice it myself a lot. <laughs> it creates such space. Yeah. That then so much more is possible. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to control it all. Yeah. And that's really, that's really it. It's like letting go. And, and when you let go, that source shows up that you are. Mm -hmm. and it's not comfortable so i'm gonna say this to people so if you think what i'm saying is comfortable uh i have another thing to tell you no, I yeah. understand. It's, not it's not comfortable it is and you have to choose it yes and once you choose it it's uh i've read a guy that was uh, dick gregory it was a I call him a teacher of mine i met him one time and he was a great teacher and i've watched some of his stuff he said, once you choose consciousness, there's no going back. Wow, yes. And, uh, but you chose it because you knew that it was for you. But there's no going back because you can't unsee and unknow once you get the consciousness information. You might try and then that will drive you fucking insane. Yes. And you chose it because you came here knowing that you could. 
It wasn't that you were special. Didn't know that you have a magic thing because you know that you can. Yes. And this last, second left turn I talk about of knowing that I am source makes me more responsible for my choices and realize that I don't, that those are my choices. Mm-hmm. And uh, let me say, I want to make sure people get this. So what I mean by that is once you source, you can't blame anything or anybody else for what's going on. It's you. No. And we choose every second, basically. Yeah. But it's you. It's you. Yes. And when you get that, and and you get to start looking at how powerful you can be. Once you start looking at that, you start recognizing, because there's certain things that I'm that's been revealed to me in my older age that I never like how should, I finally can say that, oh, things that I've never said Marilyn before is that, you know, I'm really intelligent guy. I never would say that before. I would never, and I was like being magical. Yeah, magical was something always outside of me. Uh, being a handsome man, that was mm-hmm. something that was somebody else. Mm-hmm. Acknowledging, it, it, to me, it sounds like you're acknowledging you. It's yeah. not bragging or anything. Right. It's just acknowledging you, yeah. who you be. And that's a connection to source. Yes. And, and that's what is, and it, like the, this, and I would say the scary part of it is just like, oh, so I'm part of all of this creation. And the funny thing about it, being the person that I am, I go in and out, in and out of how I communicate how I be. Sometimes I'm loony, sometimes I'm really bright, sometimes I'm strong, sometimes I appear to be weak, but it goes back, but that's the, that's the piece of the journey that I found out. And I used to be looking for the destination and destination is unknown. It's the journey. It's the journey. And that's what that, but that second, I would say that second left turn. And I'm, I'm really just talking about that. Cause I was thinking about when you asked that before, when you sent me the question, I was like, that second left turn in my life right now, the first one was the seminary. The other one is, is the recognize, recognize the recognition of source and being a part of that source that's so beautifully put you can't say i don't know <laughs> you had no yeah. words yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i realized that because i had to come up because i got frustrated because i kept on being i go someplace and i said i don't know and i realized john but you do know yeah but you ain't got no words to tell these people because it's energy and they don't speak energy mm-hmm they don't think they speak energy. They all speak energy, but they don't think they speak energy. So they don't have the receptors necessarily. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, John, so much. That was really interesting. And I think it will inform a lot of people and be an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it. My pleasure, sister. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining this episode of Left Turn. I wonder what embracing left turns could create in your life. What magical possibilities might show up? Remember, when you choose left turns, you are joining a group of the most creative and brilliant people the world has ever known.